The holiday sedan for 56 is not only the most glamorous of hard tops, but it's the most comfortable too. Because, as you see, it has four doors and all the interior roominess of a big sedan. And what a thrill it is to drive this new Oldsmobile. It's alive with power. The power of the great new Rocket T350 engine teamed with new Jetaway Hydromatic Drive. Welcome to the Cars of Palm Springs. I'm Denny Adams, your host. We're in Racket Club Estates, a mid-century neighborhood built in the late 50s. Around the same time period as our feature car, 1956 Oldsmobile 98. So hop in, let's go for a ride. Dash will look at it in more detail in the tech spec segment. This Oldsmobile has a three speed Jetaway hydromatic transmission. This car has the optional air conditioning. It was a pretty rare accessory in 1956. It has a dash mounted controls and all the components are under the hood. Before 55, it was a rear mounted trunk control unit. Racket Club Estates was mainly built in 1959 by the Alexanders, a husband and wife development team. Racket Club Estates is the largest collection of mid-century homes in the world, consisting of over 550 single-family homes. The majority of these houses were designed by architect William Kreisel. Racket Club Estates neighborhood had quite a few famous residents over the years. This was actor Steve McQueen's house. This was actor Darren McGavin's house. This was actor singer Debbie Reynolds house. Now let's go do the walk around at the Ocotillo Lodge. Ocotillo Lodge was built in 1956 and designed by the famous mid-century modern architect William Kreisel. Now let's go to the tech spec area. The 
The Oldsmobile 98 was designed by Harley Earl, the first head of design for General Motors. He was originally a coach builder and was the first designer to use sketches, clay models, and concept cars. Harley was the very first director of GM's new art and color section. Within GM, Harley Earl created the Damsels of Design, a 10-member, all-female design team to give the cars a more feminine perspective that would appeal to post-war Americans. Harley Earl designed many iconic cars during his long career at GM, including the Bel Air, the early Corvettes, and the first tail fin Cadillacs. This Oldsmobile is 212 inches long and 59 inches wide. It weighs 4,400 pounds. As expected, the trunk is quite large for a car this size. One of the cool design features of this car is the hood ornament doubles as a handle. Under the hood is a 324 V8 Rocket 88. It produces 230 horsepower. It will do 0 to 60 in about 10 seconds. I like the back end of this car, everything from the tail lights, reverse lights, even the exhaust tips. It was definitely was the jet age design. Wraparound windows were relatively new at this point in automotive technology. The designers took full advantage of it. This car has an amazing in original interior. It's red leather and fabric. The upholstery is really unusual. It has metallic thread woven into the fabric with red leather highlights. The interior of this car is typical 50s, but it has a lot of things we take for granted in today's cars. Things like power steering, power brakes, uh, power windows, and of course, air conditioning. So going across the dash here, we have a, a pretty fancy clock. It's not working at the moment. The required ashtrays, an AM radio with optional rear speaker. Over here we have your speedometer, fuel gauge. The center mounted glove box is huge. Like a lot of cars of this period, they still made high interior ceilings so you could wear a hat when driving. Now let's hit the open road. provides no feedback. It's kind of like driving a boat down the road. In 1956, this car cost $3,204. Oldsmobile was a fairly high-end brand for GM. You could almost buy two Chevrolets for the cost of this car when it was new. driving car, it's a typical 1950s American car which cruises easily down the highway in a straight line at 50-60 miles an hour. Uh, it definitely is not great for handling. What happened in 1956? Congress approves the Highway Act, which allows for construction of the U.S. interstate highway system. Dwight D. Eisenhower was re-elected. Elvis Presley topped the charts with several hit songs. The first hard drive was invented by IBM. Fidel Castro begins the Cuban Revolution. In 1988, Oldsmobile started an ad campaign, This Is Not Your Father's Oldsmobile, to attract younger buyers. This is definitely your father's Oldsmobile.
Thanks for joining us on the Cars of Palm Springs. If you like the episode, please subscribe.